One of the biggest reasons new businesses fail is due to poor marketing strategies. But I've got good news for you. Your Shopify admin is more powerful than you think. Most new Shopify store owners rely on outdated tactics like randomly posting on Instagram or throwing cash at Facebook ads without a plan. These methods just don't cut it anymore. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use the marketing tools within your Shopify store admin to your advantage in order to create and manage marketing campaigns for promotions and create marketing automations to convert visitors to customers. From setting up your first campaign to leveraging free tools that most beginners overlook, we've got you covered because Shopify's marketing tab is your one-stop shop. Curious how it all works? I'm about to show you, so sit back and get ready to have your mind blown. The very first thing you'll want to do is head over to the marketing tab in the left sidebar of your Shopify admin page. Here, you can create and manage marketing campaigns that do more than promote your products. They deliver results. Whether it's an email blast, a Facebook ad, or automated reminders, everything starts here. And the best part? You can track every click, sale, and session to see what's working because the marketing tab isn't just about launching campaigns, it's about measuring success. In the main marketing summary dashboard, you'll see online store sessions, which allows you to track how many people are visiting, online store conversion rate. This tells you how well visits turn into sales, average order value, which shows you how much customers are spending, your total sales, sales attributed to marketing, and orders attributed to marketing. And below that, the next section will show you your top marketing channels once you connect your different marketing apps such as Google, YouTube, email marketing, TikTok, etc. Ready to boost sales? Of course you are. With Shopify, creating and managing campaigns has never been easier. Whether you're launching a promotion, advertising a new product, or planning for major shopping events like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, Shopify has you covered. And if you need inspiration, Shopify even offers tailored recommendations to sharpen your marketing strategy. But it doesn't stop there. If you're using third-party apps or services for marketing, you can seamlessly integrate them with Shopify. So. Let's talk campaigns. These are the heart of your marketing strategy and can include one or more activities like social media posts, email campaigns, or paid ads. Campaigns are designed for specific promotions, helping you focus on a clear goal. For example, you might create a Facebook ad to promote a sale or post on Instagram to introduce a new product. And with Shopify, you can group activities under one campaign for a streamlined approach. Ready to start? Here's how. First, from your Shopify admin, go to marketing. Then hit create activity in the top right corner. From there, you can select a marketing activity like an email marketing campaign or a social media ad. Fill out the required details, preview your activity, and save it as a draft or publish it when you're ready. Want to plan ahead? Shopify lets you prepare and save activities for future campaigns, which is perfect for big events like Black Friday. Need a head start? Shopify even offers pre-made templates for popular marketing activities. Just add your details and you're good to go. With Shopify's marketing tools, growing your audience and driving sales is simpler than ever. Now that you know about how to create campaigns from within your Shopify admin, are you ready to grow your Shopify store's reach and connect with your audience on the world's biggest social media platforms? Let's talk about how to market your products on Facebook and Instagram with Shopify and Meta's tools. By integrating Facebook and Instagram by Meta, you can sync your Shopify products with a catalog on Facebook. This opens the door to creating powerful marketing campaigns across Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and the audience network, all through Meta's Ads Manager. Here are three types of Facebook ads you can create to drive sales and engagement for your Shopify store. Number one, audience building ads, which boosts traffic to your online store by reaching new potential customers. Number two, dynamic retargeting ads, which helps customers rediscover products they've browsed or similar items they might love. And number three, page posts, which keep your existing audience informed about promotions or new arrivals. 
Setting up these ads is simple, but first, you'll need to authorize Facebook and Instagram by Meta to access your Facebook page, business manager, and ads manager accounts. Here's what you'll need to get started. A Facebook business manager account that owns both your Facebook page and ad account, and admin access to your Facebook page and business manager. If you don't have these set up, don't worry. Shopify and Facebook make it easy to get everything in place. Once your products are approved by Facebook, you're ready to start creating dynamic retargeting ads to showcase your products to the right audience at the right time. Ultimately, you can use social media to not just gain followers, but drive real traffic to your Shopify store and convert those visitors into customers. And as you're increasing those conversions and building your loyal customer base, you'll want to start collecting their information, not their personal information, just like their contact info. Building an email list for a Shopify business is one of the most powerful marketing tools because it gives you direct access to your audience. Here's why. Unlike social media, where algorithms can limit your reach, emails go straight to your audience's inbox. This gives you control over your communication and ensures that your message is seen by those who have already shown interest in your brand. Through your direct access to your audience, you can connect with them by sharing exclusive updates, discounts and product launches, sending personalized recommendations based on their browsing or purchase history, and using thank you emails to nurture customer loyalty. Email marketing consistently delivers one of the highest returns on investment across all marketing channels. Personalized targeted emails can lead to increased conversion rates and repeat purchases. Email lists also let you re-engage with customers who have abandoned their carts or haven't made a purchase in a while. Automated cart abandonment emails, for example, can recover lost sales and gently nudge them back to your Shopify store. Email marketing scales easily. Whether you're just starting out or have thousands of subscribers, email tools allow you to grow your reach without dramatically increasing your costs. Some final pro tips for you when building your list. Offer incentives like discounts or exclusive content in exchange for signups. Use pop-ups or sign-up forms on your Shopify site. Leverage social media to encourage signups. Email marketing works best when combined with social media and paid ads, creating a cohesive approach to customer engagement. Email marketing might sound old school, but it's one of the most effective ways to drive sales, and you can use Shopify's built-in email tool to easily collect customer emails. Don't have a Shopify account yet? If that's the case, Props to you for sitting through this video until now when you're not even fully committed yet. But also, today is your lucky day because I've dropped a link down below for a free trial. Okay, back to using email marketing to grow your business and build relationships with your customers. You can use the Forms app, making it easy for customers to sign up for marketing updates directly from your website. Once customers subscribe, you can use tools like Shopify email to send newsletters, announce new products, and share upcoming sales. You can even engage your customers on the go with SMS marketing. The best part? These tools help you stay top of mind with your customers while building lasting relationships. Here's how to get started. Add a newsletter signup form to your website to collect contact information. Use Shopify's checkout settings to give customers the option to subscribe to email or SMS updates. And remember, only send promotional content to customers who've agreed to receive marketing from your store. For legal and privacy reasons, make sure your marketing efforts comply with Shopify's privacy policy. You can even activate double opt-in to confirm your subscription subscribers really want to hear from you, building trust from the start. Want to take your email marketing to the next level? Check out this Shopify blog article about 20 email marketing best practices that drive sales for more tips, also linked down below. Eventually, you will grow a strong customer base preferably a large one with too many email addresses to count. When that happens, you can take advantage of marketing automations within Shopify to send multi-channel communications, such as email, SMS, and push notifications to customers automatically. Marketing automations are created by using a Shopify email template, a third-party app template, or Shopify Flow. In one of my last videos, I talked a little about Shopify Flow, also linked down below. But if you want me to go into an even deeper dive, drop a comment and let me know. Bars.
Shopify Flow allows you to build custom automations by designing workflows with triggers, conditions, and actions. Here's a bonus. If your workflow includes a marketing activity action, it will appear in your Shopify admin as a marketing automation. You can manage and edit it directly from the automations page or within the Flow app. When setting up a marketing automation, you have the flexibility to fine tune its behavior. For instance, you can customize the delay between when a customer abandons their cart and when they receive an abandoned cart email. Honestly, I love when I get abandoned cart emails. Sometimes I legitimately get distracted and need a reminder that I haven't actually checked out yet. It's sort of the equivalent to Netflix asking, are you still watching? Like your cart is checking on you. It's so thoughtful. By the way, are you still watching? Speaking of abandoned carts and checkouts, every online store owner's challenge. A checkout is considered abandoned if a customer leaves without completing their purchase. But don't worry, Shopify makes it easy to recover these missed opportunities. Let's dive into how you can turn those abandoned carts into completed sales. First, let's talk about why abandoned checkouts happen. Customers might get distracted, face payment issues, or second guess their purchase. Shopify helps you analyze these patterns so you can find solutions and bring those customers back. Start by reviewing your abandoned checkouts. Go to orders in your Shopify admin and click abandoned checkouts. Here you'll see details about incomplete orders. If you notice repeated payment failures, Shopify tracks payment events in the timeline, making it easier to troubleshoot and assist your customers. Now let's recover those checkouts. Shopify offers two ways to follow up, automated emails and manual emails. With automated emails, you can send a recovery email to customers with a link to their abandoned cart. In order to do so, you'll navigate to the marketing tab in your admin and under automations, create the activity within the abandoned checkout automation. Once it's active, Shopify tracks the recovery status so you can see how effective your emails are. Prefer a hands-on approach? You can manually send a recovery email. Just click the abandoned checkout you want to recover, then select the customer's email. Your customer will then get an email with a pre-filled link to their cart, making it effortless for them to complete their purchase. Sounds simple, right? It is. With Shopify's tools, recovering abandoned checkouts is easier than ever, and you can start turning those missed opportunities into loyal customers. And there you have it. We've just walked through the ultimate guide to setting up marketing campaigns, building email lists, and recovering abandoned checkouts all directly from your Shopify admin. The tools you've learned about today aren't just features, they're solutions to some of the biggest challenges Shopify store owners face, which is what makes Shopify so incredible, invaluable, and by far the best website builder for any and all online commerce. Whether you're just starting out or looking to scale, this video should have given you the knowledge knowledge you need to leverage Shopify's marketing tools to boost sales, engage customers, and make sure your store thrives. Now, imagine this, a fully automated Shopify store seamlessly running campaigns across Facebook, Instagram, and email while recovering lost checkouts on autopilot. You're not just running a store, you're building a brand. So. Dive into your Shopify admin and start putting these tips into action. Thanks for kicking it with me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button down below, share it with your peeps, and subscribe to Learn with Shopify for more in-depth tutorials and expert insights. We've got plenty of content lined up to help you thrive on Shopify, like six highly effective marketing tactics to promote a product, three simple steps to create a marketing plan for results in seven days, and how AI has changed changed marketing forever, and so much more. So make sure to check out the rest of our channel. Also, as a bonus, I've dropped a link down below to the Shopify Help Center where you can find even more detailed info for everything we've discussed today, just in case you need it. I'm Kylie Marr, see you next time.